to Vlogtober Day 7. Happy Monday. I just got my Book of the Month box in the mail. If I can get Miss Mimi off of it. There we go. So I thought I'd open it with y'all so we can see what books I chose for this month. I've actually been skipping. I skipped a couple months. Because honestly, nothing really jumped out at me to, to get. And like I said, I'm trying to be more conservative with, with my books. But we had some picks that I have truly been excited about. And one of these authors I've wanted to read more of. So I was like, let's go ahead and get two books this month. So I got, I chose a book of the month pick and then I chose an add-on. So my book of the month pick was The Boyfriend by Frida McFadden. And like I said before, I've only read one story by this author, it, The Teacher. Crazy Town, really enjoyed it. It was a crazy ride. So I've been wanting to read some more from this author. And I do have The Housemaid, but I just haven't got around to it yet. But when I saw this was one of the picks for book of the month, I was like, oh, heck yeah, we, we're getting it. Um, so this says she's looking for the perfect man. He's looking for the perfect victim. Uh, this was also one of my books that I talked about in my October new releases video. So this is definitely something that has caught my attention and, um, I'm, was probably going to put on my list to read. And then also was in my releases for October video. This is the last, the last one at the Reading the Reading, The Wedding by Jason Rakulak. Loved the pic, the hidden pictures, or is it hidden pictures? Yes, hidden pictures. Loved it, gave it five stars. So I'm really excited about, about this book. Um, I believe this one involves uh, a father-daughter relationship where the daughter is, uh, I, I believe the father and the daughter have been estranged and the daughter finally reaches out to him because she's getting married. Um, but there's something, there's something about this wedding that's not right. Uh, so yeah, I, I don't have my glasses and the, the synopsis writing is very little, so I'm not even going to try to read it for y'all, <laughs> but, um, uh, my October new releases video will be linked down below. If you want to go check out that video, I, I do read a little bit of synopsis. I don't always read the whole thing because I don't want to give anything away, but I do talk about both these books releasing in October as well as some other great new releases. So I'll have that link down below. Uh, and then of course you get your book of the month bookmark. So they've been, um, they've been a little bit longer and thinner the last couple times I've got a book of the month pick. This one says, I always know my place. Love that. Love that. Um, if you are not part of book of the month, I highly recommend it. If you're, you are an avid reader, they do have some great picks. And like I said, you can skip the month and it, they won't charge you for another month until you use your credit to have a book of the month pick. But these books are worth about 30 bucks each. And you know, I do believe book of the month has gone up in price. I want to say they're about $17.99 a month now. Um, but that's still a great price for a, a new release coming out. And sometimes they do offer books that have not been released yet. So um, I highly recommend checking it out. Like I said, if you're an avid reader, I'll have my referral link linked down below. Um, the only thing with that link, it does give me a credit. So I get a free book. So if you don't want to, don't want to use my link, don't use my link. Just go to bookofthemonth.com and check it out. They usually offer like... Um, even with my referral, they'll offer like maybe your first month at a discounted rate. Um, and like I said, you can skip anytime. The add-ons are, uh, $10.99, $10.99 or $11.99. I, I don't remember if they went up or not as well, but still that's, that's very, a very good price for two brand new books. And plus it's the book of the month copies, which are always beautiful because you get the book of the month um logo on the books as well and they're just hard covers they're just beautiful books for a great low price so check out my link down below if you this is not sponsored in any way <laughs> um but i do have a um 
a referral link and like I said it gives me a credit if you don't want to use that link just go to bookofmonth.com all right I'm gonna have my lunch for the day it is a little after 12 o'clock and I'm having some mushroom ravioli for lunch today oh and it's podcast day uh, I know I, I said I was gonna start the Sherry Lapina book but on Mondays I catch up on all the podcasts that usually release like on Thursday and Fridays um, so I'm I listened to most of those this morning and now I'm back on listening to Let's Not Meet podcast because I love the creepy stories. This is turning into an unboxing day, a happy mail day, if you will. I got some packages from Amazon that I ordered um, for my outfit for cruising the coast and I got my Erin Condren 2025 planner today so I figured we'd go ahead and just this is just gonna be like an unboxing day happy mail day nothing else really happened today it was a Monday and Mondays I'm really busy with work so I didn't get to fully finish editing um, day five and six so that will go up. It'll just be later tonight. It's already this evening. I love Erin Condren's packaging. It's so pretty. Let's see what we got. And I, I did order another notebook because I like to keep notes for all the books that I read. So I got there. I think this is a seven a seven by eleven. A seven by eleven, I think. It's the smaller ones. Um, but I keep all my book notes in in a notebook and I'm almost to the last of the pages in the one I currently have and this is my new 2025 planner um, I got another leather the vegan leather cover um, and I think this is the rose quartz I think is what it's called um, but I enjoyed my leather cover so much this year i went ahead and i got another one this this year for next year yeah uh the only thing i didn't do i didn't get the engraving i normally put my initials on it but i didn't do it this year um it's it's okay it doesn't matter and i get the i don't know what you call this one but it should it's basically kittens are trying to get in the box <laughs> It's basically just the black and white. Um, like there's there's not really any any color to it. I just got like the basic. Is it it's called neutral or something? Maybe natural. Uh, and I also do the horizontal days instead of the vertical um, because I use I use these as like mini journals. I just I write my day like what happened if anything did happen um yeah that's how i like to use it i used to do the whole sticker thing um but that got to be oh god bless you that got to be expensive so i kind of stopped doing that and for a while i thought i wanted to go back to it but no uh so yeah so that is my 2025 planner and you get the this is new because it usually comes with you know just a s smaller you know it doesn't have all this on it so cool okay um and i don't see where it came with the little oh yeah there it is you always get um a little plan for tomorrow little book booklet it has each each page is a month and it's lined with the dates and I guess you could put like, you know, events or birthdays or something like that in here. It says calendar and contacts. The kittens are playing in the box. So there's that. I, I really don't use this. I don't know why I was looking for it. And then of course you get you get some coupons and some little some little cards with some cute sayings on them. So that's that. And then let's see what we got in the Amazon box. I think this is the size small in the uh, plumey shirt. I'm not going to try that on now. 
I might try it on tomorrow. I don't know if I'm be feeling all that tonight. <laughs> Michael's making tacos. Um, I need to finish editing five and day five and six so I can get that up for y'all. So I'll try the shirt on tomorrow. Um, I got some. I got some jewelry. I love Pavoy. I think that's how you say it. It's a um, a brand on Amazon. It's it's jewelry. I have a good bit of their earrings um, for my second hold. They were the only earrings that did not cause my ears to get infected when I first got my second piercing. Um, so I've been enjoying their jewelry and I got, for the first time, I got some necklaces. So I'm excited. Will you, will you stop playing with the cat, please? Oh my goodness. <laughs> like it's, it's playland over here with all these boxes. Oh, if I fit, I fit. <laughs> and then Ellie's behind the camera playing with my little Halloween kitty. So this is, this is the brand for boy. And they're, it's inexpensive. It's not at all like this was I think $14 for for this little set oh yeah cute Ooh. <laughs> we're trying to we're trying to play with it so it's a two piece okay yeah it looks oh excuse me ma'am it's a two piece. It's like a little paper clip necklace and then it's got um, this necklace like with the hook on the on the end. So I got that. So I'm really excited about that. And then I wanted to try out this uh, trend where they wear the um, like the colored necklaces, but I didn't want to spend forty dollars on one. So this one was I believe $13.99. So a $14 again, I believe. It was inexpensive. I'll link all this stuff in my description box below. So it's just got little colored beads all the way around. Um, and it's smaller, it's not as big as the ones that are popular, but I didn't, I'm, I'm not, if, if it's a trend that I think is classic, I'll spend the money on it, but I don't, I don't think, I think this is just going to be a, a very slight trend, so I don't want to spend the money on it, but I think this is perfect enough. I'll link it in the description box below. And like I said, I'm pretty sure this is the size small in the Pumi shirt, yeah. And whichever one, if... If I, whichever one I decide to keep, I'm going to return the other one and get a different color in the right size. Because I just wear it, just putting this on last night, it, I really liked it. So, same thing. I got two blacks, one small, one medium. This is the small. So, I'm going to try that on tomorrow, see which one fits me best, and I'll throw them in the wash because i got to start packing tomorrow evening, I think. Um, maybe even like, I can even probably pack Wednesday morning. We're not leaving till around lunch. Um, and it's only for one night, so I don't have much to pack. So, um, I'm not too worried or stressed about it. Usually packing, it gives me anxiety, but I'm okay. I'm okay. <laughs> All right, well, that was fun.
Hi y'all, I uh, completely forgot to finish this vlog off and tell y'all goodnight. Again, not much of a very um, eventful day. It was a Monday. I'm always busy with work on Mondays, um, which I think I've I think I told y'all that already, but anyway, I just posted day five and six. It's currently 1045 <laughs> and the video just went up. So, uh, and then I realized that I didn't say good goodbye to y'all for day seven. So just wanted to do that here. Hope y'all had a great Monday. As always, thank y'all so much for watching and I will see y'all tomorrow. And here's some cute kitty action. <laughs> That's Mimi and there's Ellie. <laughs> I'm so glad they love each other. <laughs>